Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? It's Travis Gins of Manandango Maga. Today is Wednesday, June the 5th, 2019, the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be the honor and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I just want to say yesterday was me and my fiance's 20, 42nd month anniversary of being together. We're so excited, and we know that this is the year that we will become husband and wife. So please continue to keep us in your prayers as we continue to wait and pray, uh, wait for the visa to be approved. Okay, so today, guys, we are doing the sixth day of creation in Genesis. It's Genesis chapter 1, verses 24 through 31. And this is what it says. And God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to, according to their kinds, livestock and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth according to their kinds, and the livestock according to their kinds, and everything that creeps on the ground according to, to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the, birds of the heavens, and over the livestock and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in, in, in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply on the earth, and subdue it, and and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed, seed that is on the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its, and and every and with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has, that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. So guys, as we come to the almost the ending of the of our creation, at least the first part of creation. As you, as you can see, God created everything. He created, as it says here, here's the sixth day. The, 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 the part I want to focus on a little bit is the Genesis 127. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Right there, folks, Genesis 127. See, God created male and female. He didn't create, he did not create this transgender, you know, I was born a man, now I'm, now I'm a woman, I was a woman, I was a woman, now I'm a man. No, God created male and female. That's it. Male and female. See, this, this right here, this goes to show you how crazy our society has gotten at least here in America, how they're trying to redefine what gender is and all this stuff. They just need to read the book. They just need to read the Bible, folks. It says right here, Genesis one twenty-seven: male and female, he God created them. But he also created all the stuff we see, all the creepy crawlies, you know, the bugs, the spiders, the bees, all that stuff. He created them, and he gave us dominion over them. It's not the other way around. He created us, and he planted us. Over authority over the over the beasts of the fields and everything. And it says right here. And remember that God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. Again, I'm gonna keep on saying this. During the during, during this, everything that God made during the creation, he said it was good, and it is good. Okay, it is good. Everything you see that God created is good. Birds in the air, 
fish in the sea, the plants, the flowers, the spiders, the bees, the bugs, the creepy crawly stuff. God created all of that. And he said that it was good. Now I wanna I still wanna go back to this creation thing on Genesis 127 real quick. Did you know that the Hebrew term Adam is translated as man? So, and we'll see later in, in, in the next chapter how God created man. And it's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be amazing about how we go about that. So I want you just to remember during these six days. He created everything. He created the stars, the heavens, the moon, the sea, the, the, the heavens, the earth, the waters in the heavens, the waters in the seas and the oceans. He created the light and the sun for the daytime, the dark and the nighttime, and the stars for the nighttime. And he, and he created human beings. And he created the birds of the fields, the birds of the air, and the beasts of the field. And he said, and he still said that all this it was good. Okay? Everything that God created was good. There's not one thing that he didn't create that's not been good. He created everything, and therefore it is good. Okay, guys? So, guys, if you like this series, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the lovely subscribe button. Hit the notification bell twice and get, to get notified of all that I post. And guys, have a great day. God bless. And I want you to remember two things. First, you are loved by God. Number two, live your life for his glory. You are loved by God and live your life for his glory. Okay, guys, have a great day, everybody. God bless.